WordPress Bolte site is a collection of WordPress sites that are all powered by the same code and can be accessed and managed through one single admin interface. You can set up multi-sites to set up subdomains for other sites in your network or at subfolder locations. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a multi-site environment with Paid Memberships Pro using our multi-site membership add-on. The multi-site membership add-on for Paid Memberships Pro allows the admin to manage memberships from one single location and give members access throughout the whole network. So for this case, you could have a main site like our paidmembershipspro.com site and then have separate sites like courses.paidmembershipspro or community.paidmembershipspro. The user would have a single login, a single username, an email address, one membership, and they'd have access to features of different things on all of those separate sites. So I'm going to just take you through a demo. Nothing is set up yet in this site. This is just core WordPress uh, with the latest theme 2023, the block theme. So here I am, I'm gonna go to my site's network admin dashboard, and it looks pretty much like the WordPress admin you might be familiar with in a single WordPress install. And the only difference is that you'll see this new my sites section with network admin, where you have to do certain things like plugins and themes. You have to install them from this location, but they can be activated in a separate site. So there's no plugins on this site yet. I'm gonna add new and install Paid Memberships Pro. Perfect. And then I don't activate Paid Memberships Pro. We never recommend, it's not possible to uh, network activate Paid Memberships Pro. So you don't have to set anything up here. Um, so that's the first step. Now I'm gonna go into my site on my network. So you'll see if I go to network admin sites, there's a single site, which is the main network site which I can visit and view here. Let's add a separate site just so we have another one set up for us. Uh, we'll do one, uh, we'll call it community. Community site. And then I'm gonna make the admin email. I think these are just all, uh, it picks an admin that's already a user in the site. So um, I just set it up all for the same one. And I'm gonna add one more site for courses. So now when I look at the all sites thing, I'm gonna see three separate sites. My main site, a community site, which we can open here, and a courses site. So they all look pretty much the same. Um, let's like edit them um, so we can tell that they're different. I guess the titles will help us. So the titles are different. Multi-site demo community site. This is the main network site. And then this is our multi-site demo courses site. So three separate sites. Uh, what people usually do if they're setting it up this way is have a consistent header across all of them so that they don't have those different names. Header and footer all match, and then you're just gonna personalize and customize the content within each one. But I'm gonna click through to this main network site, my multi-site memberships with PM Pro Local site, and get into the admin of just this WordPress site. So you'll see this looks more familiar, right? We were in this network admin, all these different, um, this menu area looks a lot different um, than what we're used to. Uh, in the sidebar here, we see our usual stuff. So let's click on plugins. We're gonna go through a Paid Memberships Pro setup. We're activating Paid Memberships Pro, the single plugin on a single site in the network. We'll go through setup. What type of membership are you creating? Uh, it's kind of an all of the above, so we'll call it uh, other for this. We're gonna generate plugin pages. This is the pages where people sign up, cancel, manage their subscription, um, all of that. We'll just create a free membership and we'll call it you know, multi-site. Don't have to be too creative here. Um, we don't really have to do anything else here. Uh, submit and continue. Cool. So this site's ready um, for our multi-site. Now we have one membership level and we have Paid Memberships Pro active on this site. The next thing we want to do is activate Paid Memberships Pro, the plugin, in our separate sites on the network. So this is that community site. I'm going to activate Paid Memberships Pro, but I'm not going to set it up. I'm going to go to my multi-site demo courses site. I'm going to activate Paid Memberships Pro and I'm not gonna set it up. Okay, so recapping where we're at, we have a demo courses site on the network. We have a community site on the network. Both those sites have Paid Memberships Pro active. And we have a main site on the network with our membership set up for a free level that people can purchase and check out with on the main site in the network. Now I'm gonna show you how can you control access to things based on the membership levels from that main network site across the network. So to do this, you have to add an add-on. If you go to memberships, add-ons. Um, it's called multi-site membership. This is that add-on. I'll just show you the documentation on our site about it. 
It's a plus level add-on. It allows you to manage memberships at the network site's main domain and restrict access across the network. So this is a plus add-on, so I'm gonna add my license key to this site. Okay, so now we can install the multi-site membership add-on, click install. Perfect, and on every site in the network, you wanna activate the multi-site membership uh, add-on. So I activated it in the community site, and now I'm gonna to go to my courses site and activate multi-site membership. Cool, all right, so now it should be working, right? We have our membership levels are referenced. You'll see what happened now. The memberships um, menu here is no longer visible. And under the memberships tab in a subsite on the network, it has a settings page. You have activated the multi-site membership add-on, which means that you'll be using PM Pro settings from another site in your network to control site access. Select the site. So we're going to leave this as the main network site, multi-site memberships with PM Pro. And we're going to do the same thing for the community site. Click on memberships and ensure that that is set up, that it's the... Um, main site here. So what does this really mean? So let's go back to the main site here and we'll like create a, a post, right? This is the post that exists on the site, Hello World. When I'm in my sidebar, I have require membership and that level. So this post now in essence becomes members only for people with that level. You'll see this content is for multi-site members only. If I do the same thing on my subsite, we'll set a new post. So this is like the course site post. This is public content and this private content. Cool. I have the same um, membership settings here for that subsite, multi-site. So I can uh, do the same thing and view that. And this is the, the site on the network from the course site. This is for multi-site members only. So we have content on the subsite protected by levels at the main network site. So now I'm on this uh, front end post. This is a protected post on our site. If I click to join now, it's gonna take me to the main network site. I can select the membership level, submit and confirm. And now I'm signed up as a member. If I go back to the course site and that single post we were on, uh, the course site post, it now unlocks access. So it's a really quick demo of how this works, but really if you put it uh, in your brain, if you must use a WordPress multi-site environment, you use that multi-site membership add-on, you're gonna have one central user database, one central member list, one central list of membership levels, and all of your members can join and become members at the main network site and then get access to content throughout the entire network. You're going to install Paid Memberships Pro on every site, but only configure it on the main network site. And then for every subsite, you're just going to install that multi-site membership helper plugin um, that'll just tell those subsites to reference the main network site for levels and access and authentication. That's the multi-site membership add-on. I'm Kim Coleman. WordPress multi-site is a very challenging, very advanced way to use WordPress, but it can be the right fit in a lot of situations. So post a comment below if you're unsure if multi-site is the right option for you or reach out to us in our contact form, we can also help you. Be sure to give this video a like if it was helpful and subscribe to our channel to get notified of our next piece of content. Have a great day.